Today we will talk, we will have a class about uh, rockets. And so it will be a little bit about rockets and a little bit about space. So what we will do, I have a model rocket here. So I will talk a little bit about this one. And we will use, uh, and then after this model, we will watch a video of a real rocket. And when you watch that video, you will know what you are looking at. The rocket is made of three main parts. We have a first stage. So the first stage is from here to here. And then we have the second stage is this part. And then we have a space part, which is this part, okay? So first stage, second stage, space part. So the, when we are still on the ground, the rocket engineers, they load the rocket first stage and they load the second stage full of fuel. Okay? So when this when everything is all full of fuel, they turn the rocket on and do, the computer checks to make sure that everything is working right. And and the rocket goes forward. After everything is working right, then the ground lets go of the rocket and we start to fly. Okay? And at first it's very, very slow and it goes faster and faster because fuel is going down and down and down because you're burning the fuel. So the rocket is getting lighter, so it's going faster. Okay? So, it's going faster and faster, and it's going out to space, and after three minutes, the first stage is completely empty of fuel, no more fuel in the first stage. Okay? So, after three minutes, first stage comes up. The second stage in the spacecraft, you keep going. Okay? The second stage has another engine. This engine was inside here, okay? So it has to separate like this, and then this part lights. Okay? So then this one is going out to space. This one we'll talk about in just a minute. Second stage, second stage keeps going and going and going for eight minutes. After eight minutes, all the fuel is done from the second stage. And now it's going 17,000 miles an hour. Very, very fast. So, after all the fuel is done from here, it's going crazy fast. And this is, now this part comes out. And this top part, this is just for air. Air is going around here. So, when the second stage is going, you don't need this anymore, because in space, there's no air, okay? So now we just have a spacecraft, and the spacecraft is now, it's in space, and it's going around and around, around the Earth. If we can get the lights, we'll watch a video. Okay, I think maybe for a video it's best if we get everybody close. To understand a little bit about how a rocket works, we need a little bit of science. Okay, so the first thing we'll study is force. So force is if I put a force here, it moves. Okay, so if everybody to the person next to them push put hands. Push, push, push. Okay. See? They're both 
Jordan, Jordan. Okay. He has a higher force. Yeah. So it moves. Now you push harder. You yeah, Jordan with Dagan. You push harder. Push. Jordan Dagan. Jordan with Dagan. Yes. Okay. More force. Okay. This is force. So sometimes you can do a lot of force, but it's not enough. For example, if I push here, mm. nothing moves, right? <laughs> it's not enough. I, I don't have enough force. Would you? Would you? Maybe somebody has enough force? Anybody? No. No? Now, another form of force, another force is gravity. Okay? So, does anybody know what gravity is? Nobody knows what gravity is. Even the scientists, they don't know what gravity is yet. Okay? They study it. We know what gravity does for us. We, we understand that it does work, but we don't know how. Okay? So we don't know what gravity is. But we do know that a gravity force pushes two things together. Okay. So if I let, if I let, if I stop holding a bottle, what happens? Right? This is fall, right? Yep. Okay, this is fall. This is gravity from the earth. The earth gravity pulls the water. Okay. This this is our earth. Right? Here's Canada. I'm from Canada. Can I get the United States here? Where's the bottle? Yes, good. See? There's Nepal. So this is this is Earth, and this is Moon. Moon is about this far away, about this far away from Earth. Okay, this is Moon. So they're out in space, and Earth has gravity. Moon has some gravity, right? But the Earth is much bigger. Some gravity. The moon has some gravity. One fifth. Oh. One fifth of the Earth's gravity. Yep. yep. Everything. Everything has some gravity force. So gravity from the moon is enough to pull the ocean a little bit. Okay? So and the tides. What is what's the word for tides? No shampoo or chanta chanta pura. That it's not your samundar in her So if this this is Earth. Space is only this far away. It's actually very close. Okay? So our atmosphere, our, the air that we're breathing, is only this, only very thin layer around the Earth. And out here is space. There's no air. Okay? So there is an international space station. Um, sometimes there are seven people living in space, in the International Space Station. Um, and it's just very, very, very small, and flies about this high above the Earth. In 90 minutes, in, a, in about the time from this class that we'll have here, this space station went all the way around the Earth one time. Let's talk about birds for a minute. Uh, gravity is holding birds down to earth also, right? You see birds sitting on the ledge sometimes. Um, but we also know that birds fly. So birds fly because the birds fly, they flap their wings, right? So they're pushing against the air, right? So you can push against the air, even though it, it looks like air is, is nothing, but if you push hard enough against the air, like birds, birds are very light, and they push, and so they're providing a force, and their force from flapping the wings, this force is a stronger force than gravity, right? So remember when whoever is pushing the hardest, right? That has a higher force, and they move either this way or this way, whoever is pushing the hardest, okay? The same thing with up and down, okay? The gravity force is pushing it down, So, gravity also pushes rockets down. So, a rocket has to do the same thing. A 
rocket has to have more force to push up than gravity. Gravity is holding it down. The fire is in here, and down here we just have what? Smoke. Okay? Smoke and uh, exhaust. What's Steam. Sometimes steam. Steam, sure. And, and smoke. Okay, so the exhaust, alright? It's going very, very, very fast. So the, the smoke is coming out of here very, very fast. It's moving at the same speed that sound produces. Okay? So right here, it's going, you know, when you when I talk, it takes the sound leaving from my voice and it's going to your ears. Okay? It takes a very, very little bit of time because it's moving very fast. Okay? So the exhaust, the smoke coming from here, is also moving very, very, very fast. So this speed is important. So this is more mass, less mass, okay? So this is weight and speed. So weight times speed. So the, we talked about out of the bottom of the rocket, very high speed, right? So if we have lots and lots of speed, Coming down here, we'll not think about this for a moment. Okay, so if we have lots of exhaust is going fast enough and enough of it, right? So it's heavy enough exhaust, so lots of fuel is being burned very quickly and is going very, very fast, so then we have enough force. Make sense? Anything you want to translate? Yes. Yeah. It's okay? I will translate. The force, abhi tum logo ko batai na, isme jaise ki tum ek aisa thakka do ek dusre ko, to usme kya dekha tum? Jo zara bhari aadmi, thakka aadmi hai, uske saamne agar ye chota sa aa gaya, wo usko aisa thakka deke bhaga dega. Lekin, ye jo force... So, even this balloon has a little bit of so if I drop the balloon, it's falling to the earth, right? Okay. Now, okay. Rocket. Okay. So you saw the earth is falling with the balloon down, right? Now, we have a little rocket engine right here. 
right? And the same thing with this one. You can't have a rocket going like this, right? It has, it has to be straight. So, if it starts to move like this, then right? the computer is steering it around. So the fire is like this, okay? And it's, it's very, very, very small. It's like, okay? Last thing is we will build a very, very small rocket. Okay, and we will launch it. So very small. So we have another match. It has a little bit of fuel. So we're going to take this piece of aluminum. And I will wrap it around. So, back up a little bit, okay? Just this, this part. I need a little more space. अल्युमिनियम फॉइल के लेयर बना दिए थे उसके ऊपर तो वो हेवी हो गया था तो वो मजेदार होने के कारण वो ज़्यादा ऊपर नहीं जा Thank you. 
little work, so we made some more. Uh, this one has lots of tools. You see, I took a cut from different matches. I cut uh, just the fuel and I put it all in here. So this rocket has a lot of fuel in it, so it would go a lot farther, right? But we're not going to do it in here. Maybe outside that we can try it. Why did it fly? So it, it was flying because we had more force, we had a higher force from our rocket pushing down, right? All this fuel was going down from the match along the side of the stick, right? So we had it, we have a, this coil, the coil is wrapped around there. So when it's when the fuel is light on the fire, the only place for it to go is down. Okay. So all of the fuel is going down. Right? And it was going down very, very fast. So we had a the weight for the fuel and the speed. So this still going just a little bit. It's very small force, but it was almost empty. And so it went like this. It went back together. And then when this one lit, so some mistakes sometimes, no? First stage. So first stage is almost all of the weight of the rocket. It's almost all of the time to make it, almost all of the cost. So it's very important expensive piece, okay? And so you'll see here, we returned it. That's my boss. So you see lots of, lots of fuel coming out the bottom on fire and it's moving very, very fast. Then we have high force. This is it's coming down. See? It's coming down. There's a little legs on the side top there.
Rocket. <laughs> Don't play with fire. You might become a rocket scientist.